Hey there, I'm the Nose 12 guy as usual, and today I'm actually on the uh, Water Tanks and Test server. I'm just going to bring you some uh, some random gameplay of some tanks, some good tanks that I just play on the Test server because they're fun to play. And we're just going to bring you some, I'm going to bring you some fun footage, you know. And uh, we'll start off in a game of uh, uh, Conqueror. That's it, Conqueror. The cool. Now this tank, I've actually found this tank is surprisingly bouncy. Uh, it bounces shells pretty well, which is more than I expected when I previously used to play the uh, Conqueror, even. keep forgetting the name. <laughs> but yeah, we'll throw ourselves, as we've seen, straight into an encounter battle. On the map I call it, it's free Line, that's it, Seek free Line. So this should be good. We are a tier 9 in a tier 10 game, so we kind of need to watch our backs. We've got two uh, Wolfenturi G100s. And two Death Stars on their team. And they have a mouse as well, so we're kind of up against it, I'd say. We do have two. We do have a Jagdpanzer 100, though, on our side. Just kind of weigh things up a bit. And two Death Stars for us as well. Whatever it is, the Victor is the man, is the team that controls the town, so we're going to rush for the town. I mean, this uh, Fosh 155. This should be good. Somebody just took. Yep, artillery is already focusing in on the general region that would be. Well, their artillery. Their object 261. Alright, let's go. We have a. a Vulcan Trigger Panzer 4 on us. We've already spotted some of them early on. Good, we made it to the town. We pushed through the town and hopefully get somewhere. Their Carnarvon's gone out into the open. Ooh, didn't quite get the shot there. So we'll just move on with this batch Halion 25 ton. We'll throw ourselves in. Okay, where are they coming from? If I get side shot on the mouse, then I'll be able to penetrate. Ooh, Death Star, Death Star. Hide, hide, hide. I'm not like them Death Stars. He's fired. He's fired. It's all over. First kill of the game. First kill for us of the game, anyway. Luckily, we've eliminated one of their powerhouses. He's 3 0 already. Artillery is pretending to focus in on us. Where did that mouse go, though? We'll push. We'll push up. We'll start to push up. You know, I don't want to get too overconfident with the uh, this machine's ability on the mouse. Yeah, because there's the other Death Star. Already turned his gun this way, so we're not gonna <laughs> we ain't gonna go out of there. That guy will make literal mincemeat of me. Can't get any assistance to come help. Take out this Death Star, or is he? Uh oh. Uh oh, I don't have a repair kit. Crap, forgot about that. He's gonna mount one on only just bought it like a second ago. I've got a 30 second reload time now, so it's not good. Come on. Ooh, just dodged around from the mouse there. But we have an absolutely god awful reload time now. That was not good. An attempt to scout, we just. or spot even. Got ourselves obliterated by that mouse driver. Ah, oh, the mouse got us. How did he get me in one shot? Uh, probably using premium hour. Oh, that first game didn't go well. We got a kill and we just died when that Death Star and the mouse obliterated us. So, you know what, no time to spare, we'll move on, we'll move on. That one didn't bounce as much as I was hoping to. A tank that I found that's really good, actually quite like this one, the American M103. Which actually I find is a really nice tank to use in uh, your random battles. You know what, we're always, always kind of a low tier, but the gun on this and the armour 
Just you can look well. Very good tank, very good. Oh, they have one Death Star. Despise these, despise these Death Stars. And now the new game mode. I want to talk about a bit about the new game mode they're adding in the um. Camera is cool, but it's like a nation on a nation now. They'll do like yeah, English tanks versus Russian tanks or French tanks versus American tanks, which I think is a great, great new game mode. But you just find on the English side that it's half the, or about 90% of the team is full of um, the FV215 b 183s these things, the, as I call them, the Death Stars. That's, uh, the whole team is literally full of them. I'm usually my Conqueror. It's me and uh, another heavy, and then the rest is, is them. And the other team just get obliterated by the utter power. So we kind of have to balance it out for a certain amount of TDs in each team. Because they need, literally, on, on the English team, is just that thing. And, you know, 15 of those things is just overpowered beyond belief. But I thought I thought the new game was pretty nice. I enjoy it, and it's good. Nothing like a good old traditional random battle. And they were talking about uh, in the next uh, updates in the future bringing in historical battles as well. So, so that should be quite nice to, to have a look at and see what that's like. But right now we are in an encounter battle. Yep, encounter. Yeah, on Ensk, as usual. As usual, but in Ensk. And we are going to go and. Seeing as we are heavy, we're going to go into the town and brawl with the heavies. Haven't seemed to have put any resources into the town. Any guys, most of the resources. Any tanks. There's no machinery of those in the town. They've got a WZ11114 over there, that's it. Scout, nope. Conqueror's pushing up. So it's a Z100. Yep, first contact was a T57 heavy. Conqueror's got a grip and go. Ooh, the T57 can heavy is going to win one on one with the Conqueror. We'll see if we can come in and assess. A good shot, him. Didn't aim that shot, we need to get it off quickly. The T57 heavy needs to back up because he's, he's reloading. And we can finish him off with the kill. Easy. Easy. Uh oh. We have a T95 on our hands. This is not going to be good. Oh, the WZ is fired. Ah, don't know what's going to hit. You can get shot off with that back chalion. We're going to pull back, let this. 20 times more armored uh, E100 take this corner. We'll, we'll provide some fire support from behind. He moves forward, spots nothing. Talk about Shalion. Now it's just the WZ to walk, uh, walk over. Gotta hit this guy's weak spots, missed. Gotta pull out of there. Don't get hit or anything by him. T95 is a deadly machine. Okay, <laughs> pull back to there. If I can get around the back, undetected, yes. So, the WZ, the WZ's there, we'll keep pushing around. We'll keep pushing backwards, is what we'll do. Yep, the E100, E100 plants one into that WZ. WZ fires back. I will pop out, there's a T95 kind of waiting in ambush for me. Oh! Somebody just gave the E100 uh, a bad day. Bounce just shot off a T62, which I was side on. That was a lucky, lucky bounce. Four, three, two, one. Track him. <laughs> Track him though. Get on a tank destroyers. The way to get on a tank destroyers nerves is you gotta track him. Low. Push him back, I reloaded, track him again. I know I can't penetrate him from the front. Uh, the speed I have to go when I have time to aim, so I just track him. 
I like to be what we call an annoyance. T62 is coming around. T62A is coming around though. Screw this. I'm gonna go for that. Yeah, take my time. Kill the T62. And it's just an F the their Death Star. They just have their Death Star left. He can only fire once before we kill him. And he knows it. It's got like a 30 second reload on that thing. So it should be good if we'll, uh, we'll actually get a good result. This game, three kills. Constantly track that poor D95 driver. And he's having an attempt to flee. Plant one in his side. Found one in him as well. We're just working him over now. The poor man's running away. Ah, this is good. Oh, he's decided to, it's over. He's gonna turn and fight. He could probably take out one of us if he's lucky. We'll go around the side and catch him from behind. He knows it's all over. Oh! Someone finishes him off. Oh, that was a good game. That was a game. That was a good game. Better than our Conqueror match, anyway. And what did we get? We got 20,000. That's alright. What did we get? Team score, though. Did alright. Uh, damage caused. We caused. Wow, the FE. Uh, FE. Death Star. I'm just calling them Death Star now. So we got the third highest. No fourth. We did quite high on our team though. Did alright. Yeah, we came fourth. Three kills. So, highest killer in the game. Or team even. Okay. game. Yeah. Oh no, six. No, they go. Second highest. Second highest. Damn. Oh well. Thoroughly good game though in our M10, uh, M103. But, how about we go to a predecessor and go for a game in our T29. Another another pretty good American heavy, I'd say. They're, you know, they're pretty similar. Very strong from the front and not so armored from the side. We got into a good game where we're top tier. We have an IS-2, an IS, and a Black Prince on our side. They have a T-29, an IS, and a Black Prince, and a Cherie. But I found that thing to be slow, cumbersome. That is a... It's a... The Cherie is a hard thing to talk about. On their team, that tier 7 Shuri thing. I have one of them. I don't particularly like it. I found it slow, cumbersome. Um, slow like um has a it's slow like a heavy. Has a gun like a medium. Has armor like a light tank. It's really kind of you know the I'd say one of the lower points of the Japanese tech tree. Others may disagree with me, and you can, but I just disliked it. I'm gonna go around to the usual heavy spot. And uh, start to uh, use the ridge line to the north, try and protect, maybe um, get some of uh, only our front gunmen are showing and work them over. As I always say. And our Cromwell are pretty much primal scouting vehicle. A pretty good medium. Can be scouting, is just AFK. So that's not going to help. We do have a Panther on our side, a good tank. But they, we are facing a fleet of three E25s, and you know how much. Well, no, you don't. But I dis, I quite like, I quite dislike armies of uh, E25s on their team. On the test server, that's quite annoying. But only one artillery in, uh, on the test server, which is surprising. But that, nope, just two KV2s on their team. Already one nil, one up. It was a Chinookai. Feel their comment and they're going in the chin. Oh! I feel stupid now, I'm not paying attention where I'm meant to go. Right, let's head down here. I guarantee you at the bottom in the buildings there'll be guys camping. You know, by the building, some of their TDs, probably their T29, maybe. Maybe some of the, that uh, ISU 152? No, the SU 152 will be there. Even SU 152 will be there. We don't want to pop over this ridge line too quickly. We can use the ridge line to our advantage here. Start to advance along it. 
pulled it down, so I don't think I'm going to go for some sort of big push or anything. E25 just spotted us. Enemy IS over there. We'll, just, we'll do our best to defend this ridge line. I think that's the key here. Bit of a blind shot there, but I don't have the I don't have the top gun. I have the second highest gun, which has like uh, 13 rounds per minute, which I think is better if, you, if you're not in a platoon. Then um, a gun with a higher rate, a higher rate but less penetration, and alpha damage would probably be better than the other one that's like uh, six rounds a minute. Sorry. No wait, sorry, this one's six rounds a minute, the other one's three rounds a minute. I can't remember I can't remember anyway. I wasn't particularly like paying any attention. Is it E25 is either going on a flanking move or just on a run? Cheery. Bounces the shot by point one. Straight in and plants one straight in a weak spot of mine. Oh and he's got the uh, auto loader gun, hasn't he? Yeah. I forget the Cheerys have auto loaders. Or oh, their top his top gun is an auto loading weapon. Oh yes, he missed a shot on me, but my biggest concern right now is the E25, there he is. Charge him down, because if we kill his, take his gun out of play, then we are a lot better. Nope, he's fled too far. And I'm not willing to have that ridge lane, because our team is getting battered quite badly here. Cherie's moving around. I should pull back. Yep, someone's taking shots at me. Make sure my weak spots aren't available. It's KV2 over there. He is like. Priority shot. We're almost killed off the KV2 in a one shot. KV2 is dead. The RT20, Juicy T29 from the side. Mistake, don't go. Hit him and pull back. You need to be careful of that E25 who's gone unspotted. I've got the Panther back here for support. We're getting obliterated. Alright, we need to hold on. We need to hold on for this this ridge line for desperateness. Desperateness? <laughs> desperateness. Desperateness. We're holding on desperately. We have a Tiger 1 defending the cap. We have artillery hiding in the corner. With me and a Panther holding them off here. There's the KV2 and the Chiri. The uh, yes, the Chiri is going to go for it. Okay, I am in low health now. The E25. Flip sake. Oh, not good. Not good. We are not good. We just got done over there. As I can say, we got rushed. Uh, but there was nothing we could do there. We, we hit the Chiri. The IS came on our side. He got a big hit into the side of us. Because we got weak side armor. And, you know, we just we just died. Which is nothing we could do. Oh, that was a bad game. You get good games and bad games. Yada, yada, yada. So, you know what? Let's forget about it. What I say is, that is it for this time. Uh, I've been the nice subscribers guy. Thank you for watching.